Hey everyone, Brunebound here. It's time for a new Let's Play. This is Sid Meier's Civilization V Brave New World. As always, I've been on a little bit of a... Uh, how should we put it? Uh, I haven't been playing very well, and I haven't been winning either. Uh, so I'm going to do things a little bit differently. I'm not going to try the domination thing again. That's what I've been doing in the past, and I need a little bit of work on it. Um, and the, the worst thing about it is every single one of those games would have been really good peaceful games. They would all have been pretty easy games to win that way. Um, but you guys have kind of seen that. You've seen me do peaceful science victories before, so I don't want to just go back to another thing like that. Um, Rewatching some of my, well, sorry, I didn't actually rewatch them, but looking through some of my Let's Plays, I haven't actually done a diplomatic victory at any point in time. And it's actually the easiest victory type. So I don't want to do it just because it's easy and I really need a win right now, but I think uh, it's still nice to highlight, nice to show you what can be done with it. And I can kind of nerf myself a bit too. So I think one obvious nerf would be not to take rationalism. Um, and I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. If you are going for a diplomatic victory and you're trying to do it as soon as possible, uh, rationalism is still very important. You want to get to those technologies really quickly. You want to get to the atomic era quickly because it's the first, um, I think, 10 turns after the vote the next vote that occurs when you get to atomic theory is when the world leader will happen so you want to get to that thing before that before one of the votes it's kind of difficult to explain just sitting here but as we play I'll, I'll maybe make it a little bit more clear um, but you do want to tech quickly and things like that you want to get to those advanced eras so I think I'm actually gonna not do any of that I'm gonna probably be going down patronage I want to show off how good patronage can be it, I wouldn't say it's gonna it's a direct replacement for um, rationalism or it's going to be as good as rationalism but it can still be pretty fun and it's a little bit of a nerf not taking any rationalism at the very least you probably want to take secularism and get that extra science for specialists because that's just such a good policy um, so I'm not going to do that and we'll see what else I feel like doing if I should nerf myself in other ways but I kind of want to just see if we play a really uh, patronage city-state type game get a bunch of allies kind of want to see uh, how cool how how much it really takes off so um, okay, this is Babylon selected from my previous game. I'm kind of sick of selecting people, so... I mean, there's a couple interesting ones, like... Siam, it would be nice to use them. Um, though you might say that... Well, it already has good city-state bonuses, and now you're going to take them, and it's just going to make it way too easy of a game. So, I mean, Sweden could be interesting also, because you can gift your great people for allies. But I'm going to go back to random... Um, the things you want for a diplomatic victory is really a lot of gold. So any good economical civilization is going to be helpful. And of course, if anybody has city-state bonuses, that's helpful too. Um, but for any victory type, science is very important. So obviously a Babylon or a Korea would be ideal. Um, I've been doing a lot of Pangaea. Screw it. Let's. I don't want to do another archipelago, so maybe I'll do continents. I, haven't, I don't even think I've done continents yet. I've done shuffle, and those have looked like continents, so... I guess I could do shuffle. That's okay, I'll do continents. Um, Alright, I'm going to do standard map, deity difficulty as always, and standard game pace also as always. Alright, let's, my favorite part, let's see who we get. Oh, what? Well, okay, um, do I really want to do a Venice game? I mean, this really fits in perfectly with patronage, right? This is this is the right guy to do. You can get a ton of trade routes up. You can buy a lot of city-states. It feels kind of a little bit overpowered. Damn, do I really want to do Venice? In my game, for some reason, every time it loads now, it freezes for like five seconds. I mean, I think a Venice game is a bit of a turnoff for people, but... It is really such a weird coincidence that I was talking about Diplomatic Victory so much and then we got Venice. And no, I didn't record like 50 of those until we finally randomly got Venice. That was my first shot. I think I'm going to play it. Um, the very least, it's just a really quick game, a nice victory. Get one under the belt before we move on to something else. Assuming I can, you know, I might have Shaka next to me. It might be the hardest game I ever play. Um, okay, let's play it. This looks like a really good start, too. Uh, let's see, we have two Citrus... Three citrus and a banana. We don't get that cattle. If I move over here, I get even more stuff, right? I don't get the gems, but they're in my fourth ring. I think I'm going to move here. I still get both citrus, or sorry, three, four citrus then. 
Even though citrus, I think when it's improved, isn't that great of a tile. Is it a good tile? Let me see. Uh, okay, so you chop. Ah, oh, fuck. Do I want to figure this out? Uh, where is chop? Remove jungle is minus one, plus one. So two food, one hammer, one gold. And the plantation... Oh, it's already factored in. So it's basically just going to be two food, one hammer, one gold. Is that true? I think so. So we only get one gold for the plantation. Yeah, maybe that makes sense. So, I mean, obviously Sun God would be awesome. Okay, let's do it. Let's play as Venice, and let's move here. I think it's a little bit of a better spot. I Obviously, I can't see over here, so there could have been a lot of great stuff here, but based on what I know from where this warrior moved, this is the best city spot. So let's settle here. And obviously, as Venice, you're coastal. You can get a lot of trade routes. If you're a landlocked Venice, you're pretty much fucked. So that didn't happen. We only do have one sea resource, so the food might not be great, but we have all this river, which is awesome. So let's get the scout up right away. And, okay, more runes. Actually, maybe I should take this one first. Let me see. Uh, uh, whatever, I'll do that one first. I'm closer. And let's get pottery right away. So at Optics, we get a great merchant of Venice, I think. Is that true? Is it optics? I think it's optics. Uh, let me actually look that up because it is important. And that's basically your second city, which you can only buy stuff in. So, uh, Venice. Venice. Okay, I don't actually care about Venice. I care about Venice in the context of this game. Factoids. Wow, there's a factoids. Interesting. Okay, I think it's under him. Yeah, optics. So, we do want optics relatively quickly. There's a fish over here, but all this is irrelevant at this point. Uh, let's... Oh, culture. Good. I can maybe skip the monument. I skipped the monument last game thinking I would get culture at some point, and I never did. And that screwed me over a little bit. I kind of had a, a regular start playing as Babylon, when it should have been a crazy, crazy good start. So that was a little frustrating. There's some really good city spots over here. There'd be another good spot, I think, where you can still get that fish. Uh, of course, when you play as Venice, you always see amazing second city spots with, like, natural wonders and all kinds of things like that, and you can't settle any of them. Oh, yeah, there's the, there's the national wonder, or the natural wonder, of course. So that's weird. Kind of frustrating. That's a good one, too, 8 Faith. So I bet there's going to be amazing city location over here. Just to tease us. Okay, and there's a ruin over here. Choose production. Uh, we got one scout. I think I'll go two scouts. Let me see. Um, so we'll get three here. Still going to have to get to legalism for the monument, but I'm going to just skip the monument. I'll go two scouts. Oh, wait, this is continents. I don't think I want the scout, actually. I could still get the monument and get a free uh, amphitheater. Yeah, let's get these policies up as soon as possible. We need, we're need we going to go through patronage, so we're going to need as many policies as we can get. So we can move on to other things. I'm not going to use rationalism at all, but... Uh, okay. Okay, eight turns for the next one. Yeah, let's build that stupid monument. Oh, not again! Pachacuti again! This douchebag. Look how happy he is to see me. Yeah. That's a city, last game, we were trying to take for like 250 turns. <laughs> we could not take the city. Uh, this bastard. And he did have a lot of mountains around him. This pretty much is a picture of what happened last game. He's gloating, and there's a bunch of mountains. Uh, jerk. He's actually one of my favorite civilizations to play as, though. Oh, did he take my ruin? Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> oh, but it was only a barb camp ru ruin. <laughs> Can't talk. So, I guess the joke's on me. Okay, another one over here. It's hardly even necessary to explore around the capital. <laughs> okay, so we got our first city-state, Singapore. It's a mercantile city-state. And, oh, the barb camp didn't show me that one. It's like three tiles from my city. Stupid barb camp ruin. Still not even good, even when you get it. Doesn't show you the right barb camps. Okay, another city-state here. So I could buy this one up. Have a nice little internal trade route going on. 
Hopefully it's not like cultured or anything good. Oh shit, we have Alexander. That means he's gonna be competing for all the city states with me. What a douchebag. Is that the Incan Mountain right behind you? It looks like it's snowing. Oh man. He's very aggressive and... Okay, so maybe this is gonna be a difficult one. Yeah, this might be not an easy game after all. So considering I'm not going to go down rationalism, we have Alexander nearby who's going to be competing for all the city-states with me. This could actually be a tough game, especially if I focus only on winning a diplomatic victory. So I think we'll do it. Um, let's see, where are we? We need pretty much this calendar. We can get mining. Actually, we should probably get archery. We need to get all these things. Let's do... Let's do that. Let's get archery first. I don't know how close Alex is. Where did I meet him? Down here? Where did I meet him? Did he find my capital? That would suck. Okay, Inca are here. Another stupid national wonder. And it's amazing, too. King Solomon's Mines. Six hammers. Jesus. The Curse of Venice. Pantheon founded. Tundra tiles. Who took that? Inca did. The Inca are in the tundra? Doesn't look like it. This looks like as far from the tundra as you can get. That's his capital. I don't know why he took that. Okay, Ife. Oh, it would have been nice to get that sooner. Okay, this monument is almost done. I will go for a shrine, hoping for Sun God. Um, let me buy... Not the bananas. Where's the citrus? It's over here. Uh, it's okay. I'll wait a little bit. But we do want to work more of this stuff. Okay, so after this we'll get the stupid uh um shrine where's my shrine oh i already queued it okay and we need to steal workers so workers where you at ife hey ife i'm a little bit protected hopefully alex isn't like right here but at least we have these two i don't think i want this land city i could do ife oh then i could get king solomon's binds technically and this one might actually get this wonder, so. I think I do want Ife first. I care less about religion than I do about military units, especially with Alex in the game. So, I may put my guy here, except the trade route is obviously a little bit trickier. Um, this is kind of tough to get out of here. Uh, if I take it, he's going to go here with the warrior, probably. I can move here, I can pillage and move, and then get out of there. I don't know if I would survive all that. Um, let's be a little bit more careful. Yeah, I'm going to try to be a little bit more careful here. Uh, okay, all the barbarians are over here. Not sure why they like Venice so much. Pantheon, range combat, it's okay. So, let me explore around him. We'd like to know where Alex is. And let's keep killing stuff. Okay, you're dead. I think Alex was the one that got in a fight with him, probably. Or that Incan scout. I think it was around here. And, should I kill this camp real quick? Maybe I should wait for the city-states to want me to kill it. Then I can kill it. Oh, Assyria's here too. So this is an aggressive set of neighbors. But we've had Shaka in like more than half our games, so it's not like we don't know how to use them. Is Raging Barbs on? Why do we have so many damn barbarians over here? Okay, Inca, give me some units. Okay, so that's my territory. 
I do like the location of these two cities. It's going to make it a little bit harder for them to f settle around here. So, I can't complain too much. Uh, he can... Hmm. He might be far away from me. The gold could be nice, but I'm going to pass for now. Okay, worker here. Uh... Let me, oh, he has a lot of units over here, though. But I'm going to try to steal that guy. Okay, Venice grew. <coughs> uh, sorry. Uh, let's buy this one and work even more food. Shrine, one turn slower, but we grow in seven turns instead of eight. Oh, uh, no, it's okay. I think we want the shrine a little bit quicker. The shrine really does matter getting it fast. It, uh... You a lot of times lose out by just one turn, and then you're delayed. Okay, so I could kind of steal one, but let me just act like I'm exploring. Oh, huh, what's over here? Don't know what that is. Is that a fish I see? Come on, warrior, get out of here. Ah, uh, he's protecting them. Uh, I'll just go over here. Check out that fish a little bit closer. What is going on with that fish? Oh, there he is. Hmm, let me just go back. Oh, no, it wasn't the one. He's protecting this guy. I think I should maybe not... Oh, there's a city state over here. Budapest. Who should I steal from? Maybe Singapore. They want me to kill barbs for them. Can't do that. Let me steal from Budapest real fast. Okay, shrine's done. You know, maybe I could just not steal from anybody. What a revelation. I could just build my workers like an actual player. I would probably like to have built it a little sooner though, but... Let's do that. Let's actually build our workers. Like a no-exploit Venice game? Yeah, we can do that. I'll actually be... I'll play this game like an actual diplomatic victory should be. No worker steals, just being a nice guy. Clearing camps for city-states, that kind of stuff. So, I'm gonna do a no-exploit type game. And it looks like the Inca have their own plan here. Unless he just left both these workers for me to take, then I might change my mind, but... Hmm. Okay, the Inca are sending an army up here. And... I'll go ahead and take this. I should be able to get a real early national college too, right? So... I need to be able to clear jungle. Actually, let's do... Yeah, I need to get calendar. Let's do that. Let's get that national college going. What is this? Someone freed a worker, I think. Who would do that? Uh, let me just keep exploring. And what's happening here? Is he coming after me? Oh, Portugal's here too. So we're on a really big continent, apparently. Okay, they're fighting that guy. So that camp is not going to last long. And Alex is right next to the Inca. So we know how that's going to turn out. He's probably going to manage to do what I was not able to do. Um, damn it. Should have my warrior up here. Well, he's definitely going to kill it next turn. So maybe I should just kill it for experience. Yeah, I could kill it. This guy's not going to be able to replace it until after the Inca go, though. The Inca are definitely going to clear that camp. Yeah, let me just shoot this guy, just for the hell of it. Do either of these guys like me for that? No. Uh, let me actually pledge to protect everybody. Hear that, Alex? Don't fuck with these guys. Pledging to protect. Yeah, that's right. Every single one of them. And no worker stealing, either. I really hate worker stealers. I would never do such a thing. I think she got it, so that's kind of funny. Portugal got it. <laughs> and let me shoot that. I just like to screw over Patrick Uti after that last game. Okay, let's explore a bit more. Animal Husbandry's done. 
and let's go over here. Hold on, does anybody want that camp gone? They don't, but I think he might be going up that way. That's okay. We need our workers out pretty quickly. Why is that tile being worked? Let's get that worker. I could actually buy a worker, right? I'm not going to be buying a library this game. 310 to buy a worker. We could definitely do that. Yeah, give us some gold. I'm not too worried about Portugal. And... Okay, more stupid camps. I do need to get caravels out, explore, find more city-states. It does seem like there are a lot of barbarians this game. I'm going to have to protect them. Oh, maybe I should buy the archer, actually. Or I could just bring my units back, but that's too... Makes too much sense, I think, for a Bruin game. Okay, let me bring that warrior back up there. Warrior, well, 11 turns away. That's going to be a while. Okay, Greece, I see you're here. Oh, I forgot to shoot somebody. Alexander, oh, you're going after Alex? Poor guy, he just wanted to hang out with the city-states. I don't know why he's so aggressive. That's going to end really ugly, I think, for Pachacuti. I think he's uh, not calculating his soldier count very well. Portugal's in the lead with soldiers. So Alex hasn't really started building anything yet. Is he doing any type of wonder or anything like that? If you guys don't know, if you zoom in, you can actually see if they have started building a wonder. So, like, uh, it doesn't look like there's anything here, but... Okay, nothing. So, not a good example. But you can actually see that. Like, you could see the pyramids or something if they're building the pyramids. Um, it's a trick I saw Akin do. So, I'll give Akin credit for that. I don't like to give people credit for things, but I guess I might as well. Um... Gotta hang out here for now. Can I buy anything? I still can't. Let's get an archer going. Yeah, so this is... Actually, I'm not even sure what the ideal thing to open with Venice is. Go for a quick national college. Whatever. I'm just gonna play it by ear. Pantheon. What is that? Quarries. Stone circles. Okay, so he's dead, right? He's dead. So... Let's. We can't chop jungle. Let's get that cattle hooked up. Our happiness should be fine anyway. And watch him buy these two tiles and get my archer stuck. Okay, cattle. Oh, damn it. Come on, archer. We need you. See where that archer... Oh, crap. Archer's coming after me. We have a lot of barbarians over here. Alright, go back home. I think I see... Is that Assyria? Yep. They're pretty close together. And I'm just kind of hanging out by my, on my lonesome. So, maybe it won't go too badly. What can we do? I don't even have masonry yet for that. So this worker was a total waste of time, I think. Okay, Nineveh is here. This is still growing, that's good. Uh, let's buy some more of these things. We don't really need a worker or an archer, so let's just grow like crazy. We want this city to be incredibly big, since we only have one real city. Oh, okay, there's a worker over here. I didn't say anything about... Well, I could give it back. It's probably the Singapore's worker again. Barbarian worker. That's his nationality? I don't think he really identifies as that. So, he may be trying to trick me. It's brainwashing. Okay, city-state over here. It does look like we have a lot of city-states. There's just an incredible amount of barbarians. What is happening? Uh, hand axe start shooting this guy and we're probably pretty close to National College maybe not could grow a bit or I could do this let's grow okay 
another military city state. I'm okay with that. Just build a farm here. What are you doing going through the territory? Come on. I didn't sanction that. Granary, we probably want another worker. So I think we're gonna steal that one, right? We do have a lot of aggressive guys and a lot of barbarians, so let's get some more archers. Oh, uh, what is he thinking over here? That didn't work out too well. Uh, let's keep shooting this guy. Okay, it looks like that's closed off pretty much. Sorry, Almadi, doesn't mean to piss you off. Okay, so everybody hates Alex. He is kind of stuck between some civs, but he's expanding like crazy. How many cities does he have? He has six cities already. Damn. Okay, Scout Archer. He's Roman free. Oh, she's in the water already, so she has optics. Uh, let's kill this guy. And let's start taking care of this camp. Does any city state want this cleared? Ife does. That's religious. That would be kind of cool. Alright. Hanoi. I want to get these, uh... I think I want this city first. Ife. Oh, wait. But if I ally it, maybe it would be better taking Valletta. Tough choices. Okay, Cahokia is here. Well, I am finding a lot of city-states. I could ally this one, I guess. But then I'm really close to these guys, and I don't want that. That's like the aggressive axis of evil over there. Uh, yeah, it's kind of tough to explore this game. I did only go one scout, which is not common for me. Okay, do I want to try to get this cattle hooked up again? Okay, this is taking forever, so let's get bronze working first, and then philosophy. And then optics. Pantheon, cool. So, uh, citrus, right? Plus one food from citrus. Yeah, let's do that. And this city should explode. Yeah. So this is looking good. Let's get that library going. Okay. Almost dead. Oh, he is dead. The battle odds were really far off that time. Uh, yeah, we're friends. We're cool. I mean, say what I want about you. You didn't act. Ah, oh, fuck this guy. He's back. He didn't actually declare war on me at any point in the last game. I declared war on him both times. So, props to him, I guess. Uh, there's a lot of shitty terrain over here. And let's get around. Can't do anything, can I? Yeah, I can't do anything. I can shoot this idiot hand axe. He's probably going to shoot hit Portugal. Yeah, he did. Uh, let's just hang out. We can s technically start a farm, I guess. Can't shoot you from here. Okay, hopefully more people want this killed. Pointy sticks. Okay, Alexander is now in first place. So that's as expected. And, oh, he has swordsmen, though. There's definitely going to be some early wars going on over there. Uh, that's for sure. Um, okay, I'm 29 minutes in, so I'm going to make a cut. I'm going to try to keep all these under 30 minutes um, until I go to war and completely forget about it, and it's like three hours into one video. Uh, otherwise, I'll try to keep it under 30. Unless I forget. Okay, see you guys next time.